I wasn't drunk, but I was definitely tipsy. Is that drunk? What's up guys to another scary story animation where we take the scariest animations we can find and we react to it But we don't get scared because we don't get scared But if you do get squared squared you, you get scared you gain a point if you get squared. Yes, we gain a we gain a square We 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 gain a a scare a scary clown the it scare, clown. the it clown uh, the more eight clowns you get, you lose. The least amount is the winner. Play along or choose who you think will win, me or Michael. So, hope you guys are ready. I'm ready to throw, because if you guys are a fan of this series, you guys know we are ready to throw to anyone who's ready to scare us. You look for me? Nah, I look for you. Let's get ready. This event happened when I was around 13. Jesus, are the best. I was going on a family road trip with my parents and siblings. My brother was 16 at the time, and my half-sister was 21. I don't completely remember yeah, where we were going too. or where we stayed since it was almost 15 years ago. Damn. All I remember was that we rented a cottage in a small village. Next to the village was a lot of mountains surrounding the perimeter, and there were probably only 20 houses in the village. Next to the cottage was a small lake that was big enough to kayak in. And to the right of the little lake was a small shed. The shed was very old, and its ceiling had been poorly repaired. There was ivy growing all over it. Although this may not seem scary, the door was wide open, and the place we were staying at was all fenced off with a really high fence. This probably meant that no one would be able to come into our property. Dang, was it a jail cell? Yeah, for real. Check it out since we had nothing else to do other than swim in the lake before dinner. Bear in mind, this happened in the winter, meaning it would get dark much earlier than in the summer. We walked up towards the shed, and as we walked towards it, we realized that a source of light was shining through the ceiling. It didn't seem like it was a normal ceiling light, but was almost like a torch. We so saw the this? light slowly move around in between the cracks of the shed. Then, in one sudden motion, the light randomly pointed at us. My brother and I were petrified by the situation. All right, for you ready to throw? I know it's, it's a flashlight, guys. Expressions. It's a dim Our flash. parents were in the lounge watching TV, so they wouldn't be able to hear us at all if we cried out for help. I don't like to be cliche, but my big brother is a very strong person, emotionally, physically, and mentally. So I was surprised when I saw his lower lip tremble out of the corner of my eye. I thought he was going to protect me by telling me what to do, but instead he just stood there, frozen, like me. With a petrified face, as the bright light blinded us through the gaps between the walls of the shed for what this felt is alien like an eternity. For real. Suddenly, the light switched off. A small sense of relief hit me as the light turned off, but I was still scared for my life. Because the light was shining on our faces for so long, our eyes were not used to the dark. When we tried to escape by running in the opposite direction towards the cottage, we couldn't see where we were going. Then, as if the situation couldn't get any worse, we heard a loud shuffling sound coming from the shed. We could hear the sound starting to crescendo as we ran silently towards the cottage. The sound was getting louder and louder. Soon after, I could just make out a hollow voice coming from behind us. I hesitantly looked behind me. To my horror, I saw a middle-aged man standing next to the shed with a flashlight in his hand. His hands were covered in what looked like blood, and his hair was greasy as if he never showered once in his life. Fools he had a long beard that looked tangled and disgusting. Fools do it! Hey, voice, Ten thousand dollar jello challenge. Come here, <laughs> oh I have God. many toys in here. Do you want to play some games with me? I'm down. I'm down. down. Let's throw. Eyes wide open without blinking. He looked as if he was talking to me. I instantly screamed as loud as I could, and my brother grabbed my hand with dear life as we sprinted back into the cottage. We told our parents what happened, and I hugged my brother and sister with tearful eyes. They didn't believe us at first because they were so shocked by the situation and so confused. But when they saw the monstrous man's face pressed up against the window with a bloody butcher's knife in his hand, they screamed in horror and immediately called the police. The police were nearby since it was a small town, but as the that sirens came, 
we saw the man run back to his shed, and unfortunately, they never caught him. You can't go into the shed? Yeah, what? The, what? the police told us that a girl that looked similar to me and was roughly the same age as me was murdered last month because of that man we saw from the shed. So you can't go to the shed? I can't For real, like the what cops gonna just be like, oh, let's check the shed over there. Weekend. So you saw him over here, right? Make it yes. Alright, so he got away. To go so he got away. <laughs> so, if you didn't know, if you haven't seen John Wick, like but like, this, that's the place where you can't kill anyone. <laughs> I really hope that man is either caught or is being chased by the police because those few moments scarred me for life. Go into the shed again, bet you won't. Who wanna play games? <laughs> Imagine going go to the shed. Wanna play a game? Go to the shed, bet you won't. Bet. Bet, bet you won't do it again. <laughs> Empty, Empty, dark, dark parking, parking lot. Oh, we've bet. seen these a lot of times. My name is Jasper. Oh, fool's gone on a One date! My girlfriend and I were getting ready. Fool's hard! We were going Yo, one of those movies where, hey, yeah, there's an empty we parking lot over car, here. And I don't know what oh, sweet, was, as a backseat. But we were feeling very flirty and decided you know, like, to park at a parking lot. So we lay down and, like, watch the stars. We was driving an M4. Oh, dang! It's rated R now. I was on her in the driver's seat while she had the seat reclined. When we were moving around, I had the horn with my butt. I looked at my girlfriend and told sure her, does not hope they didn't draw any attention to us. She said, it's okay. It's like one in the morning. Dude, why don't you just have sex at your house? Like, I don't understand what's the issue. I kid you not. Three She's minutes later, one. I put my head up to fix my hair and looked to my right. What I saw made my stomach drop. There was a man on his knees just watching us. I quickly jumped off my girlfriend into the passenger side, screamed and told her to drive off. As my girlfriend was trying to figure out how to put the seat up, the man got up and put his hands up. I got the most sickening feeling when I saw his hands were covered in blood. My girlfriend quickly locked the car door and got ready to Could drive off. that in the beginning? Then Hell yeah, the man told us, don't panic. Hard. I told my girlfriend to step on it, and when she did, I just remember looking back, seeing his face get all mad, and quickly walk away from- What a cock block! For real, As that we man was about to get his off, dick wet. I was sitting there, asking myself if that he murdered someone. Could he be hurt? So my girlfriend decided to drive back to see what the f*** happened. What? I didn't want to, but I thought maybe he needed help. Are you kidding? When my girlfriend and I went back, we saw two cop cars pass the area, coming from different directions. We were looking at each other, trying to figure out what was going on. When we drove back into the parking lot, he was gone. I don't know what he needed or why he had so he blood on his got hands, it on after? But ever since that Damn. night, I always made sure my car door was locked. And now I carry a taser with me. Dude, you're a dude. Just press the full. Like, What's going right, on? Like, low key tasers are kind of dope. If it's a taser gun, yeah, but this fool's carrying a taser. <laughs> you always get a taser you always want to use. Now, nah, he always wanted to use a taser one day, and there's his only excuse. <laughs> I met the guy who ate human flesh. So you met this a vampire. When I was in college, I was 20 at the time, Bad. studying for an upcoming exam in biology. That is, until my roommate busted in my room. She wasn't yelling, but I could see she was drunk by her excitement. I rolled yeah. my eyes and sighed. I completely lost focus now. But it was okay. I kind of got so used to her lit behavior. Right now. She was a party girl while I was, well, a nerd. I tried to get back on my Ooh, reading tracks again, but she patted me on Nowadays, the back and drove me Nerds are hot. Speaking, nerds are the best now. Come on, Jasmine. Every time I see you, you're always reading a book. I uh, sighed before well, speaking. Well, book you read. And every time Romeo I see and Julia? you, you smell of alcohol hot. and vomit. <laughs> she frowns. What's your grades, Ace? How about That's this? Hot. I'll be quiet all week if you come to this party tomorrow at eight. I wanted to say no, but then I thought about it. I mean, I do always work really hard. Besides, she won't barge in like this for the whole week. Sounds too good. I thought to myself. So I nodded and continued to read. We got ready. I hadn't dressed up in ages, so I was kind of excited. The party was loud, filled with drunk people making out, bumping, and dancing. That's called a party. <laughs> what do you thought? Everyone reading a book? It's a f party. What do you expect, dude? I'm not going to lie. I did not making other drinks. I wasn't drunk, but I was definitely tipsy. No, nah, you're not so drunk! I hate people like that! I wasn't drunk, I was tipsy. Small talk with me. He was fairly attractive. Wait, what? How are you barely attractive? 
It was fairly attractive. Changed names. That fool looks pretty hot to me. He had red yeah, that's a drawing. Hair and blue eyes. Exactly. He was well, white and about dang. six Fool said blue eyes. The fool might be tall. His name was Tall Tolly Team and Flesh confirmed. and talked about topics like Fool, red hair. Books, Never trust a guy with red hair. Thing. Exactly. The Why does a guy have red hair in the first place? Half an hour. He then said, Like, Hey, I'm going well, to get another drink. Want anything? Uh, I said, why not? Well, that looks I like mean, dead red. Having fun. Exactly. So Never trust a guy with dead red hair. Light red, drinks. maybe. Because that's some Ed Sheeran shit. Ed Sheeran? That's dope. We were dope. making out in the corner of the party room. Yeah. It was so quick. And then he asked me, want to go back to my place? Which I politely declined. I already know what he wants. Besides, I needed to be on campus in the morning. You want to play Come again? Come on. I promise it will be fun. I remember that he kept on trying to get me to go, but... He gave up after I made it clear I wasn't interested in going to his place. Well, you made out. He that's, rolled his eyes cool. angrily and gave me a paper with a number on it. Fine. If you change your mind, give me a call. He leaned close to me and whispered against my ear. Then he walked out, and the rest of the night was a complete blank. The next day, I woke up inside my college bedroom, on my bed, next to my roommate snoring on her bed as well. Don't, as I got up to shower, a paper fell out of my Bunk beds. It was the number, which made me remember that guy. But I had more important things now. So I where does the guy with the human flesh thing? I remember reading my book when all of a sudden I felt dizzy. Then I woke up in the bed with police Oh, officers. I think I've heard about this. This is a true story. Day. Turns out I had this dangerous allergic reaction that could only be caused Yeah, she has a flesh-eating virus. That's how they caught this guy. From I'm being dead ass. Flesh. This is a true to story. I heard about it on the news. Weird. I hadn't been kissing yeah. anyone, let alone I'm being serious. Bra. This is an actual true story. I the guy. I told the police about the guy at the party and gave them the number he gave me. A few weeks passed and my allergies went down so I could live my life normally. I just finished my test when my phone rang. I answered it and it was the police. Turns out the guy from the party had two dead decaying women's bodies inside his apartment that he ate. They must have been there for months. Yeah. My heart dropped. The thought that I made out was someone who ate human flesh. Or even worse, was what if I had agreed to come to his place? Yeah, it's a true I story. I been one of those bodies. It's a true story. It was on the news. Dead ass. That's Holy a true shit. That's a true that was a true story. It was on the news. So it's a virus? When a body decays, the reason it decays is because there's um, a bacteria that eats human flesh. It literally eats your flesh and makes it decay. He was eating rotten human flesh made out with her and then she got it. Oh, that's disgusting. CSGO horror Oh, story. this is dope. No way. Hey, 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 hey. I played it. <laughs> when you think of Counter-Strike Global Offensive, yeah. the last thing you'd think of was a horror story. Yeah. But yet, here I am. I'm down. It Let's hear this horse story. It was the summer of 2014, and I was bored in home alone. <laughs> so searched up your IP because you killed him? Probably. I went to Dust Online to play some casual. Bet. It wasn't a very busy lobby. There was about five people yeah. on each side. We know mm -hmm. the no way. We know the way. Well. I quickly discovered the only other person with a mic was a guy whose name was something like Smarties, Smarties McFlurry. McFlurry. Sounds like a normal name. He sounded a lot older than me. I was 14 at the time. Okay. His name was Dave, and we got along well, and we played good together, since we had the same number of skill. We eventually okay. played more CSGO together, and then friended each other on Steam. After that, he asked for some of my social media, and I gave him my Discord and Snapchat. Right. Then on CSGO, Dave suddenly said he had to leave, and we could play more tomorrow. So I got okay. off and watched some TV and eventually went to sleep on the couch. I was home alone for the night. Okay. At like 1 a.m. I awoke and got a glass of water. Then I heard a Snapchat notification from my phone. Curious that- Oh, notif- Oh, the location. I picked it up and saw it was from Dave. I opened it and it was a picture of my front lawn and house. Yeah, um. Phone and the glass of water fell from my hands to the floor and my heart began to race. Wow. I was suddenly frozen. As if rooted to the spot, so the darkness around me seemed Probably. to become thicker, and I swear I was seeing shadows all around me. Then I heard a knock at the glass. I turned to the back window, and there he was. The Dave guy, who looked a lot older and creepier than me. Without thinking, I ran to the back door, locked it. I also locked the front door. Oh, not the front door calling to me through the window. Then I proceeded to run to the only windowless room, the bathroom. I stayed in there for Your about an hour. Your bathroom doesn't have a no window. Shaking you have no and phone? fearing the worst, 
I dreaded hearing the sound of Dave calling me again, a knock at the door, or even footsteps outside. I don't know how long it was before I fell asleep. He didn't call the cops? My parents arrived home, and I hesitated to tell them about my experience. I knew they would drop shit on me, but it wasn't just that. I was questioning whether or not I was dreaming when the Dave guy appeared at my house. I knew I had not been dreaming playing CSGO with him though. However, when I checked my phone, it was like he didn't exist. He was not on my friends list in CSGO, his Steam account was gone, his Discord was gone, and even his Snapchat was gone, all deleted. To this day, I still question my sanity about whether or not this Dave guy who I played CSGO with really existed. I know for sure we had chatted on the game, on Discord. You know you could check your history but had on really CSGO, your, his, your, la your last few why games. why were all of his wow. online accounts deleted? I really Normie. don't know. I like that. What a normie. Yeah. Alright guys, we're gonna end it there. Hope oh, you guys did enjoy these horror stories. Hopefully one of these just gave you some chills. Hopefully it gave you a kind of a chill. So, did any of these scare you guys? Let us know down in the comments. I gotta say, the body ones freaked me out. That really? Scary. That shit was yeah. weird. That was pretty weird. I just got freaked out. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys want to see us react to more horror story animation, let us know. These are kind of interesting and some dude couldn't got cock blocked. That's, that's, that happens nowadays where an old man will Hot block at an empty parking lot. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys again tomorrow. We post every day. So like always, boop. Uh, you ready to film, bro? Mm -hmm. Yo, what are you drinking? It's bang, bang. bang. It's so oh, good. is that energy drink? Yeah, it's like what flavor good. is it? Right now I got a peach mango. Fire. You have any dude. extra? I got this one. I got cotton candy. Yo, I love cotton candy. It's fire, dude. <laughs> mm. Yo, it's freaking delicious. Bang, bro. Yo, this reminds me of when I was at the circuit and I had the nicest cotton candy. Feel that, dude. This reminds me of peach and mango. That's the flavor. Mm. <laughs> dude, that's true. It is a flavor. No wonder it tastes like peach mango. It's so good. <laughs> and make sure to follow Bang Energy's Instagram down below. Also, if you guys want 25% off, make sure to use our code Mike and Ant25. Use our promo code to get 25% off your next bang. And we just want to say thank you, Bang, for sponsoring this video. Now back to the video.